Your guess is as good as mine. How's it going? Doing well? That's cool. Welcome to uh, Box Friday. It's not really a beater box. I had this whole thing. No, I didn't really have anything planned, but there might be tornado sirens going on in the background, so there's that. Welcome to the channel. I am SB Mitch. Give me a follow on social. You can subscribe if you want. You don't have to. Um, and that's pretty much it. And if you hit the notification bell because you want to see these kinds of videos, then hey, that's cool. You can do that too. I don't think it really benefits me or anything, but hey, if it benefits you, do it. Hello, pals. Today's box comes to us from a uh, person I've known for a long time and actually a very good friend. You can follow him on Twitter. His handle is Drone Kicks. His website is dronekicks.com. He does mystery boxes that contain shoes, sometimes streetwear and stuff, but uh, I'm hoping there's no streetwear in these. These boxes are actually membership based. I paid for a year membership for $350. So yeah, they're a little bit more limited. They're harder to get. These boxes, I will say, if you are interested in joining the Drone Kicks membership and getting the mystery boxes he offers, these boxes are not for quick flips. They are for holding and maximizing your actual profit on these boxes with a little bit of patience and a pretty good amount of assertiveness. Because if you're lazy and you don't like waiting and pretty much everything that most sneaker heads do nowadays, these boxes are not for you. I happen to like them a lot because there's a lot of DS shoes in here every once in a while. These boxes are good for anywhere from 15 to 35% return. So this box here today cost $2,000, oops, plus $40 to ship it here to Chicago, Illinois for a grand total of $2,040. That's the counter, its name is Clarence. It's gonna be letting you know how much each shoe is worth on the secondary market based on size, condition, and other various factors that affect the value of said shoe. Then we're gonna break down the entire estimated market value, put it up against how much I paid, and see what the potential profit is on this box. If you are interested in purchasing these shoes, you can go to my website today at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and that website is sbmitch.com wow. box time. Okay, so we got a pair without a lid, two pairs without a lid. They look like small sizes, but they are dead stock. This first one is a size six women's Air Vapor Max Flyknit 3, and there it is. It's got some kind of like rose pink outsole and midsole, unworn, no lid, so it came from an outlet most likely. Interesting shoe. I don't know the difference between a Vapor Max 3 and a regular Vapor Max, other than it just looks like a sock with a bunch of with a bunch of Tide Pods attached to it. So here's your first shoe out. It looks like a multicolor. I don't know if it's gonna pick it up, but you can see there's like bits of different colors in the knit, which is pretty cool. It's a little detail that if I notice it, then any, anyone will notice it. Size six on that. We got another Vapor Max 3 probably with no lid. It is a six and a half women's Air Vapor Max Flyknit 3. This one is more of a Sprite or like mint type colorway. These aren't bad. It's got a green outsole. Again, dead stock pair, no lid. Um, these actually might have some value. The retail on these is ripped off, so I don't know what the retail is on, but I don't know. There you go. Aw, sad face. We got an Adidas in here. Uh, there's nothing on it, so this is an Adidas Ultra Boost something. I think this is the black multicolor uh, colorway. It's a dead stock pair. No lid. What size is this? This is a size US Men's 11, so that would be a size 11. I don't know the deal with these. I think it might be an Ultra Boost 3, but again, I don't wear Adidas, so I don't know. Power goes, that'd be hilarious. You guys, can you, can you hear the siren? Maybe, I don't know. There you go, size 11, Ultra Boost something, multicolor something. We got a Jordan 1. Box is a little beat up. It's a size 10, Air Jordan 1. Yes, this is a really good pair to get. These are pretty cleaned up, but they are used. Great shape though. The Turbo Green Air Jordan 1. Um, these, uh, prices on these just like shot up out of nowhere. I think these are not the original, I think these are secondary laces. I don't remember which laces they came with, but it's like some kind of like pinkish cream uh, lace. Bottoms are in pretty decent shape. Uh, the Nike Air on the insole is still there. Both shoes are in the same kind of condition, just a tiny bit of heel drag, so will not complain about ever getting an Air Jordan 1 in a box, whether it's worn or not worn. Ooh, it's raining like crazy now. Nice. Size 10, Jordan 1. Got an Air Jordan 11 Retro Low in a 5.5 grade school, whatever you call it. 
This is another dead stock pair. A big shock there. Hey, I'm a poet. This is the uh, uh, Jordan Low. I don't know what these are called. Breads? Uh, it's really windy. I need to stop the camera. Sorry, guys. Okay, well, the storm kind of passed. Uh, it's, pretty cre it's pretty crazy, I'm not gonna lie. Anyways, the last shoe out was these Jordan Low, what did they even call that? I don't remember. Concord Breads, I guess. Five and a half, youth. Dead stock. Pancake is very concerned. How you doing, Pancake? You okay? Oh, she can say hi. A little treat for all you that stuck around. Look at Pancake. Pancake's doing good. Look at her face. Look at his face. Go down. All right, next up, looks like an Adidas. Looks like a Hue, actually. Yeah, it's a Pharrell Williams. An yeah. NMD PRD, whatever that means. Well, they're dead stock. The lace bag has come and detached, but this is actually a pair I have never seen, but it's like an all black hue, trail hue with a gum outsole. That's pretty cool. These are dead stock, this is size 11. I don't know anything about these because again, Adidas, but kind of slick. I know triple black, especially with gum soles, people like that kind of shoe. So maybe this might have some value. Pancake, what's up? There you go, size 11 for Well Williams, triple black hue. Wow, this video is super, this is like ADD in a video. Got three more pairs. First one is a size eight. Dunk Low SP. Very cool. These are the Syracuse Dunks. These are dead stock too. Dang, this is a really good gift. Very good size too. Really simple colorway. Dunks, as you guys know, have made a huge comeback in the past like two years. Uh, don't know why, but uh, I mean, it's basically like an Air Jordan 1 Low without air in it. So very cool. Size eight. Nike Dunk Low Syracuse. Very cool. Then we have a Nike Air Tailwind Quick Strike ST in a size 10 and a half, whatever that means. Stranger Things, that's what ST stands for. It's got the Hawkins Post as the paper. That's pretty cool. Oh, I recognize these. These are dead stock as well. It's the Stranger Things Tailwind in a size 10 and a half. These are actually pretty clean. Uh, I've never actually seen these before. Well, I have seen them. I just didn't recognize them at first, but very cool. It's got suede on the mudguard, like a canvas, everything else. Leather swoosh, 19. 1985 on the back, which is pretty cool. Got these little accessories too. Dang, these are pretty cool. Stranger Things Tailwind 4. Those are cool. Last pair in here, it's a Jordan 1. It is a size 10 and a half. Jordan 1 Retro High OG. Nice. Another dead stock pair too. Cannot complain. These are the uh, Royal Toes that came out pretty recently. These are steadily going up in value, which is fine by me because these boxes are designed to be holds and you're supposed to wait for them to get to the price that you want them to go at. So 10 and a half Royal Toe One is your final shoe out in this $2,000 Drone Kicks mystery box. Where did this one come from? This one came from End, apparently. So that's a 2K uh, Drone Kicks box. Gotta tell you, I'm a fan. This video is pretty weird because of the tornado that rolled through here, but hey, let's take a look at the numbers and see what the current market value is versus how much I paid in the breakdown. So hey, remember when I said that some of these shoes might actually be available on the website today? There's a pretty good chance that a lot of these will not be because they need to be held to get the maximum value out of these. The reason I got this box is because I wanted some inventory to hold on to. So can't really complain about that. Check out his website, dronekicks.com. He's got boxes if you buy a membership. Uh, he's got really good deals on a, lot of on a lot of sneakers. He does a lot of consignment too. So if you need to sell some of your stuff, he pays out pretty quick and it's only 10%, I think. So you might have to double check with him. I don't know. But thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you have a really great weekend. Thanks for taking the time to watch. And until next time, take care of each other and remember to make it fun because sneakers are supposed to be fun. Bye.